Hi everyone, my name is Tamara and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about books and classes. Very important subjects, very fun to do. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere and anytime at all. Down here in the deep blue sea. Books. You can't live with them and cannot live without them. <laughs> Just like with men. And classes, well, let's just say in the beginning, you cannot be a good actor without having an actual instructor to instruct you on how to do your craft and to help you out. Tony Barr acting for the camera. It is really fantastic. <sighs> really, really good. I am just on the first 10 pages and it's really great so far. Like, and I just love to smell the books. It smells really nice. Larry Moss, Intend to Live, great freaking writer, actor, I think he's also director. David Dean Buttrell, he is an actor, he's a theater actor, he is also a movie actor or film actor, and he guides you all the way throughout your career like how not to give up how to just keep going this man has been through some shit also Jenna Fisher's acting guide is it is really fantastic like it is so down to earth and you know if, for those of you who don't know her she's most famous for being for playing Pam in the office this is our receptionist Pam 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 She's really down to earth. She's, she's just adorable. <laughs> also, if you don't know him, Google him. His name is Jack Plotnick and he has a free ebook and it's called New Thoughts for Actors. It is written like you could, like he's talking to you, like you're there. Well, isn't every book, most of the books? Yeah. He's really great. Check him out on Instagram, YouTube, and IMDb Pro. Also, I think he's on Vimeo. You know what? I'm sorry. I think you need to leave. You leave? Oh, you're a very rude little woman. Racist. I'm going. I'm shutting the door. Faggot. What did you just say? Well, all of those are really fantastic websites to check actors on. Get all the books you can at your local library for free, Etsy, Amazon, eBay. I usually get used ones because they're just cheaper and you never know, there could be some very useful notes there. Books are the best weapons in the world. <laughs> These are just so amazing and you know when I read any type of book, not just the acting book, any type of book, I also think of like, oh wow this person is long gone but I'm reading their thoughts, I'm reading their soul and it's just this incredible feeling that overpowers me and I, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Classes. Classes can go anywhere from $15 up to $600, if not even more. The more experienced the acting coach is, it's most likely that he's a working actor. He is going to charge a lot. Depends in which market you're in, depends where you're located at, like in LA or Atlanta, of course it's going to be super expensive, but you're in the <laughs> but if you're in my area, which is Charleston or Savannah, classes are going to start, what, 40 bucks or so? Depends, like, which classes. There's on-camera audition, $40. There's private coaching. You will not laugh. You will not cry. You will learn by the numbers. I will teach you. 40 and up. Sometimes 50 and up. Depends. Meisner technique can start anywhere from $50 up to 100 if not even more. Just... But please always do your research on your local teachers. Check them out on IMDb Pro, of which I will talk about in my next video. It's a fantastic website. Always check your teacher's credentials because you don't want to be taking class from someone who's just a background extra, do you? If your teacher is a working professional actor, you're in a good spot. I mean, because it shows that what they teach is actually um, credible. Make sure 
texting, going to classes is like dating. If you don't like it, it's fine, but you're there to experience it and this experience can bring you experience. You want to go to a class where teacher is supporting you instead of doing the complete opposite. That's number one. Number two, once you come in, you have to feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable and your intuition is telling you, I don't like it here, you should probably listen to your intuition. Number three, there's all kinds of students, there's all kinds of people. If they're not supporting, if they're not there to learn, if they're just there so they can put it on their resume, that's probably not a good class to go to because classes are there for you to learn instead of just slack off. Number five, the students need to have a real progress. Like, imagine some student who was going to class for two years and still hasn't learned shit. Probably not a good class to go to. This will be it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next Wednesday. Okay, so Jenna Fisher, Blair Moss. I bought it for the game. Why do we have this in Phillips' book? I'll let Jenna borrow it, damn it, Janet. Have them. Hmm. Oh my god, I just got those. They're fantastic. Oh, they smell like sh I smoke a cigar here. I don't know if I should, but I really, really want to. Teachers, teachers, teachers. Jeez, they're my favorite in the world. <laughs> I'm such an Hermione. Hermione Granger. What is being taught in the classes? Oh, I forgot to include! <gasps>